more deodorant. I'm sweating today. Lesson 15. When I already started the recording. <laughs> YouTube world gets to know that I needs to know that I need more deodorant. Okay. <laughs> Lesson 15. No, it's okay. I don't care. Yeah, that's okay. I might get some deodorant from some people. <laughs> yeah, I don't have fans, so there's that. I have you guys, yeah. That's all I need. Okay, so this is just for Evan and Ian, so everyone else, please be quiet, because they were quiet for your guys' math group. So, lesson 15, making a multiplication table. And Evan, you are right, there is no um, examples in your guys', so we are going to go over, it's actually a really short lesson, so how do we make a multiplication table? How do we make one? So first off, we have zeros, we have the ones, we got the twos. Actually, I'm just, I don't want to write it all out. I'm going to just write. So the zeros, we have the ones, twos, threes. I'm going to just write the fours because that's what I have room for. Okay, so let's make our own multiplication here, boys. So for the zeros, for zeros, so up here at the top, I'm going to make myself a little chart myself a little chart because we're making our own multiplication table. So first we're going to have times one, then we're going to have times two, and times three, and times four, times five, and then we're going to end with times six. Eh, we got room for seven. Let's do seven. Okay, first off for the zeros, I'll do this one because this one's not too shabby. So for zeros, it's just going to be zero all the way across. So zero times one is zero. Zero times two is zero. Zero times three, zero. Zero times four, zero. Zero times five, zero. Zero times six, a zero. Zero times seven, 84. Just kidding, it's zero. Okay, now the ones place. The ones place. So one times one. Ian, what are we going to get? One times one. Yep, and then one times two. One times three. One times four. Yeah, just keep saying it. Yep, I'm going to you. One times five. One times six. One times seven. Bingo. Evan, ready for the twos? So two times one. Two times two. Two times three, two times four, two times five, two times six, two times seven. Good. All right, Ian, coming back to you for the threes. You ready? Three. So three times one, three. Three times two? Nine. Six. Oh, yes. Three times three? Three. There you go. Three times four? Twelve. Good. Three times five? Mm -hmm. Then three times six. You sure? <laughs> You're okay. It'll be 18. So notice we're just increasing this by three every time. So when we went from three to six, add by three. Six to nine, add by three. Nine to 12, that was add by three. 12 to 15, we added by three. 15 to 18, we added by three. So 18, what's 18 plus another three, Ian? 21, and that is what three times seven would be. Okay, good. So we're making our own mini version of a multiplication table here. So Evan, let's finish it off with the fours. So Evan, four times one, four. Four times two? Eight. Eight. Four times three? Well, four times four, 16. Four times five, yep, four times six, bingo, and then four times seven. Good, good job, you guys. So there's our mini multiplication table because we could go from the zeros all the way to um, 10. And then same thing with the 
ones on my top row, I could go one all the way to 10. Kind of like in your, any kind of standard multiplication table, you'll see that. So this pattern that we just did is sometimes called a multiplication table. A multiplication table usually lists the first 10 or more multiples. So we could go up higher, we could go do 11, 12, 13, 14, but our, usually our pieces of paper are gonna hold all that. Um, on a multiplication table, we can find the answers to questions such as, how much is three fours? All right, let's answer that real quick. So Evan, how much is three fours? Three fours. Yeah, this has it listed as how much is three fours? So yeah, what is three times four? Yep, and so if I were to look here, so I, we asked what is four times three? That's gonna be 12. And I also have it listed right here. Four times three, the same thing is true. It's gonna be 12. So there's two different spots we could look there, okay? Ian, you've worked with a multiplication table, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a couple just laying around in my class too. So if you guys ever need them, I always have them. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for you guys now because I know you have worked with multiplication tables. So keep working on your math homework or your science homework. So your guys' homework over there, it says lesson 15, page 69, A through K. So all the letters. And then you guys have one to 19 odd. One to 19 odd. So good job, nice short lesson there.